Having the latest version of Adobe Captivate is great because you get to take advantage of all the latest features. Uh, this is normally a benefit that I enjoy tremendously, but sometimes the new features aren't always compatible with the old features. And here's one such example. We're talking here about advanced answer option and fluid boxes. Uh, so far to date, I haven't been able to get them entirely to work, but I've come up with a workaround that I think will solve most people's problems. Here's an example of a uh, slide here. We've got uh, a simple question up front and three possible answers, one of which is correct and the other is not. Before I move forward, I'm just going to duplicate this slide so I have a copy of it before I destroy it. Uh, <laughs> if I select one of my distractors, and wish to add an advanced answer option. Now, for those that don't understand this, an advanced answer option uh, is available from the uh, properties panel with one of your wrong answers or your right answer selected. And you can actually set it up to run a particular action or advanced action and show unique feedback for that particular answer. Now, I use it mostly to have that unique feedback for that answer. So for example, if the user chose Tom Mulcair, which is one of the wrong answers, I'm going to select to show feedback that's specific to that particular uh, answer. First of all, let me get rid of my try game message. Um, if I try to move this into the answer area or the feedback caption area, um, things are going to go a little haywire. You're going to see that the answer for Tom Mulcair has, you can just make it out here, has turned, been moved down to here. Uh, the caption has been duplicated. And, you know, if I select it up here, I can't even select the second version of that caption. Basically, this slide is now broken. Um, uh, as far as I know, there's no way to recover from this. Uh, you'd probably have to recreate this slide from scratch anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this slide because uh, advanced answer options are just not working the way they are. So here's my workaround. It's not uh, the best solution, of course, will be for Adobe to come up with a, a fix for this problem. But uh, in the meantime, if you're trying to get advanced answer option working uh, for your multiple choice questions, uh, and I should point out that advanced answer option is only available for single correct answer multiple choice questions. But here's what I've done. So in this case, I don't want to try again message. So I'm going to uncheck that. And I'm going to change this caption area from a static caption area or static fluid box into a regular fluid box. Now I'm going to add a shape which will be in this case here, just a rectangle. And this will be actually all of my captions rolled into one. And what I'm gonna be using is the idea of a multi-state object that can show different messages depending on how the user selects those answers. So let's go into state view. And the first default is going to just be transparent as we see it here. But let's create, first of all, a new correct state. This we'll just call correct. And we'll just keep things simple today. I'll say correct Justin Trudeau is the right, oops, right answer. And let's create a new state for one of the wrong answers, Stephen Harper. We'll just say Stephen. And the message for that will be incorrect. Stephen Harper is not correct. And we'll create one for Tom Mulcair as well. Sorry, Tom Mulcair is not right. So now we have uh, a multi-state object that represents 
all the different types of uh, captions that we're going to need here. We can exit from this. The other thing I wish to add, because of course, um, if you use the caption uh, rather than the regular uh, default feedback captions, uh, you're kind of breaking the multiple choice question a little bit here. So I'm going to need to add a next button. And while there is a skip button available from the quiz panel, I want actually to use a smart shape used as a button here. So I'm going to select uh, my smart shape here. I'm just going to add that in and uh, make sure that that's available. And we'll just say next and we'll use that as a button. I'm going to uncheck maintain aspect ratio so it just centers itself well with the submit button that's also in this particular fluid box and uh, our action should be default go to next slide i am going to disable the click sound and add the hand cursor which i like to do for uh, any interactive elements and a couple things i'm going to do uh, first of all let's make sure that this has a proper name so we're going to call this the next button And we want to make sure our caption is named as well, not just smart shape six, because we're going to need to reference this in advanced action. So uh, we'll call this captions. And I think now we're ready to set this multiple choice up. So Justin Trudeau is the correct answer. So if we uh, separate from our quiz panel, if we go to the properties panel under the options tab and select advanced answer option, we can uh, we can of course set up an advanced action execute advanced action and we'll call this correct and we're going to do two things we're going to uh, change the state of that captions item to correct and we're going to show that next button. So let's save this as an action. And, we'll... and actually in this case here with Stephen Harper, we don't need to run an advanced action. We can simply uh, change the state of our captions to Stephen. You can uncheck continue playing the project because you're gonna wait for the user to do something else at this point here. Uh, and again, we don't need to show feedback message because this action here is going to take care of that for us. So now let's go to Tom Mulcair and do the same thing. Advanced answer option. We're going to change the state of our captions item to Tom Mulcair. I'm just going to uncheck continue playing the project because I, I still want it to remain paused on this slide until the user has had a chance to uh, you know, see the next button and the correct caption. And of course, they'll get infinite attempts anyway. So I think this is pretty much good to go. Uh, I didn't make the next button hidden. That's something you'll need to do. And if there's the possibility that users will revisit this knowledge check slide, you'll need to create an on enter action for this slide that returns this next button back to not visible in output. But um, that's pretty straightforward to do, and I'll leave that guy up to you guys. So let's do a preview of this project here and see how it works. So here we go. Let's click Next. So who was elected leader of our government in 2015? Let's try Stephen Harper. Submit. So my caption updates itself. Incorrect. Stephen Harper is not correct. Let's try a different answer. Tom Mulcair. Submit. Sorry, Tom Mulcair is not right. Let's get it correct now. Justin Trudeau. Submit. Correct. Justin Trudeau is the right answer. And of course, now I have a next button and can proceed with the rest of the project. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.